Hello everybody, my name's James. I'm an outreach facilitator for the Humber Outreach Programme and today I'm going to be delivering to you another hop short. This time we're going to look at fear of failure and how you can conquer it. So, over the course of this session we're going to look at the causes of a fear of failure, how you might experience that failure and then most importantly look at some solutions to that failure. But before we can do any of that it's really important to first define a fear of failure. So essentially a fear of failure is a fear of shame. It gets to the core of who we are and really hurts our self-esteem. So for that reason, it's important to identify the causes, how you might experience it, and find some solutions. So let's start by looking at what can actually cause a fear of failure. So you'll see that there are a number of reasons we picked out, six in fact, but I want to focus in on just a couple. So the first one I'd like to draw your attention to is experiencing a traumatic event. So in this instance, we've used the example of delivering a poor presentation. And I'm sure we've all been there. I certainly, myself, was there when I was going through school. We deliver a bad presentation, and the next time we come to do it, we might feel concerned, worried. You could say that we're fearful of delivering it again. And then following on from that, just simply a lack of confidence in general. So that could be a lack of confidence to try new things or meet new people. They can both cause a fear of failure. So. They're just a couple of the reasons that can cause failure, and now we'll go on to have a look at some of the ways in which you might experience it. So, how might you experience a fear of failure? Well, it can happen in any number of ways, so let's look at a few examples. So let's first start with a reluctance to try new things. Now, in the first section, I discussed a lack of confidence, and inevitably that will result in a reluctance to try new things, get involved in new events, and so on. Another way in which you may experience failure is through self-sabotage. And the example that I'll focus in on here is procrastination. So for example, you might be set a challenging piece of work by your teacher for school. You may struggle to do it or don't know how to do it. And that will result in you procrastinating and then ultimately perhaps not submitting that work and not doing so well in your studies. So there are other reasons as well, other ways in which you may experience failure. So it's really important to now look at solutions to that failure. Now, in this section, I'm going to look at three solutions to overcoming or redefining failure. So, the first strategy I want to look at is, and I know it sounds easier said than done, learning to think more positively. So, what do I mean by that? Well, after a perceived failure, I want you to write down, perhaps on a post-it note or on a scrap piece of paper, I want you to write down three things. Number one, what did I learn from this situation? Number two, how can I grow as a person from this situation? And three things look for the positives. What are three positives about that situation? In that way, you'll be able to redefine the failure. So a second strategy is to assess all potential outcomes. Now, after a failure, it's all too easy to think about the worst case scenario. So to remove that failure, that fear of failure, you can assess all the potential outcomes. And then you might realize that the result it maybe is not as bad as you might think. And a third and final strategy is simply to talk to someone. So this could be your friends, your family, someone else you trust. Uh, they can help you get things off your chest, see things from a different perspective, and also gonna just help you through that process when you do go through a perceived failure. In conclusion, we've covered what a fear of failure actually is. We've looked at the causes of a fear of failure, how you then might go on and experience that failure, and then most importantly, we've covered three really good strategies to help you overcome that failure. I hope you've enjoyed that session. That was a fear of failure. Thank you very much.